Hey everybody, it's Millennial Prepster. I normally wouldn't make a video like this, but I think it goes without saying this time Vegan Foot Soldier really goes way over the line, being completely ridiculous. I mean, I, I've been watching his stuff for a while because I find it entertaining, and I've, ever, I've even been on his, on his show. I'll leak a link in the description if you want to go look at it. You know, I am not anti-vegan. I am not anti-plant-based. I just don't agree with their philosophies whatsoever, and I have my own beliefs, my own lifestyle practices that I that I practice and believe in. But I have no problem talking to vegans about the problems with their diet and how they can make themselves better because they absolutely can. I think that goes without saying. If you are not vegan, you can absolutely see the pitfalls in their diet. And I have tried to debate with the best of them. Nobody wants to debate with me, and I think it's because. So many of us have went out there and completely demolished their arguments, completely demolished their ethics, and completely demolished the way of thinking. So, in this case, we can clearly see Vegan Foot Soldier is reaching. So he made a community post, and on it it says, and I'm going to put up the, the picture for you to look at, but obviously it's scrambled, it's not completely correct grammatically, but bear with me. It says, I've seen a bunch of health websites that twig tea has more calcium, forgot the then, cow's milk. So I was going to make a video on this, but after attempting to substantiate this claim with legit study, I've come up completely empty-handed. Does anyone have any leads on this, or is it just more unsubstantial health website nonsense? And, and I like how he doesn't include the health websites. Apparently, there's a bunch of health web web websites. Well... Vegan Foot Soldier, why don't you just link one of the health websites that you get this information from? And if you're getting information from these health websites and they're not backing up their claims, what other claims are you making that are completely nonsense, nonsensical and are completely garbage? I'm pretty sure if... I'm going to be facetious here, but I'm going to say most of it. When it comes to vegans, most of their information is complete garbage, and most of the stuff they follow is completely unsubstantiated. He's proving it here in this community post. And in typical vegan degradation, we can see one of his fans chime up to defend his fearless leader. And I can't, I can't pronounce who this person is, but you can read in the post clearly. It says, maybe if you make tea with tap water that has high concentrations of calcium, question mark, I don't know anything about this. I'll be learning on, alongside you guys. When you are literally trying to defend veganism, trying to defend this plant-based ideology to the point that you even believe for a second, for a second that tap water somehow, filtered tap water, somehow has more calcium in it than cow's milk. It just, it goes, it goes, my, my mind is completely blown at this point. Like, you have vegans that are so degraded in their beliefs and their ability to use logical reasoning that they really believe, well, maybe it's the tap water. Oh my God, maybe there's calcium in tap water, and that's how we get our calcium. I mean, I can't begin to explain how perplexing this is from somebody who is of, you know, normal intelligence, somebody that, I mean, I don't consider myself to be a genius. I, I'm your average normal guy. But I can tell you that this line of thinking is completely ridiculous. And the fact that you're going to entertain such obscurity with tap water? <laughs> I mean, come on, guys. Oh, my gosh. This is, it's literally beyond ridiculous. And, you know, Vegan Foot Soldier, if, if you're watching this, yes, I, I'm calling you out. You are a shill. You are ridiculous. This is, this is obscene. For somebody who, who claims to care about science, who claims to care about facts, who claims to care about the things you care about, the fact that you are not even addressing this literally blows my mind. Literally blows my mind. So naturally, to try to help somebody out who obviously is under some distress, obviously somebody who can't think rationally, obviously who's somebody who needs help, I decided to reach out to him and ask him with all sincerity if he needed help. And my response is very evident. I said, in typical vegan fashion, you are trying to prove something based, up, based upon a preconceived notion. 
looking up moringa also known as the tree of life is something i grow it's considered a superfood and if you are truly vegan you should be consuming this every day if you have any other questions reach out man i grow food for living hashtag permaculture hashtag grow your own greens hashtag your actions should match your beliefs and i, I truly mean everything everything that i'm saying there um, it's it's obvious that in typical vegan fashion you know they get information and instead of vetting it they have to make it true there has to be some tea out there that has more calcium than cow's milk we have to prove this because if we can prove this then we can prove that there isn't any need for for milk and this is obviously just focusing on calcium this is totally bypassing bypassing proteins fats you know b12 omega-3 omega-6s colostrum i mean you're just totally bypassing so many other things and you're just hyper focusing on calcium this is what vegans like to do let's take one thing if we can make this true then i'm gonna make a big vid youtube video on it and i'm gonna show everybody how ridiculous it is to you know drink milk from another animal you know and so here we here we go you know like if this is not what the typical vegan playbook is i have no idea what is i mean this is so typical. You find something that's not true, you harp on it, and then when you can't find the studies to back it up, you post it on YouTube and social media and ask all your friends, hey, is there anybody out there that actually knows what they're talking about? Is there anybody out there? Please help me. If you know more about health than I do, please try to help me find and prove my, con my preconceived notion that somehow there's this superfood out there that has more calcium in tea form than, than milk does. And, you know, I even threw him a bone. You know, and this is what's so frustrating. I threw him a bone. I told him to look at Moringa. And for those of you that know what Moringa is, it's it's a super it's a superfood. I mean this this plant can literally do everything from filter water, lots of potassium, lots of protein, lots of vitamins, lots of B vitamins even, um, vitamin C. I mean this is no joke. A superfood and I'll leave some links in the description box below for you guys to take a look at if you're interested but I literally threw my bone and I told him hey man if you have any questions about you know permaculture or food organics contact me man if you want to know I'm all about giving you and pointing you in the right direction for healthy plants that are good for you like I said I am not anti-vegan you know, I grow a lot of food. I grow my own animals. I grow my own vegetables. I grow my own fruit. I believe in food sovereignty. You know, and for you carnivores out there, you may not like that. You may not appreciate that. I don't have to tell you. I really don't care. Um, I care about food sovereignty, sustainability. That's what I care about. And he knows this. And so, you know, here I am trying to throw old boy a bone. And this is what he comes back at me with. He states, I've had Moringa before, mate. It's okay, but I would rather eat a healthy plant-based diet before depending on Moringa for my health. Once again, I feel like Vegan Foot Soldier is completely losing his mind. I think he needs to intake something healthy to get his, his focus sharp. I really think that he believes that Moringa is somehow an animal product. Like I said, he said, I've had Moringa before, mate. It's okay, but I'd rather eat a healthy plant-based diet before depending on Moringa for my health. I'm confused, uh, vegan foot soldier. What part of eating a healthy plant, it's a tree, goes against your ideology as eating a healthy plant-based diet? Like, I, I don't understand. Like, do you really believe that this is an animal product, that I'm trying to trick you here? Um, you could have done a simple Google search and you could have found that this is a super, it's a superfood. It, it's a tree, man. It's a fucking tree, bro. You know? And... It has all these amazing health benefits. You know, like I said, it can filter water, antioxidants, proteins, vitamins, vitamin B, you know, B vitamins. Vitamin C is more vitamin C than an orange. You know what I mean? Like more potassium than a banana. This is literally a superfood. And you're telling me that you're a vegan and you're plant-based and therefore um, you'd rather eat a healthy plant-based diet than eat plants. A super, a super tree, you know, a superfood that is a plant that is vegan. What's going on with you, bro? Are you okay? You know, and it, it, it literally it blows my mind. You know, it blows my mind. And how do you how do you reach somebody that is, is that is that far is that far off base? You know, 
He didn't respond to the guy talking about calcium in the, in the tap water. He let that one go. I mean, as, if, as long as he hasn't deleted his, his, his community post, you can go on it right now. You know, I'll leave a link to it. And you can see that the guy is talking about freaking calcium in the tap water and like, hey, we'll work this thing out together. That's still up. Nobody's made any mention of that. But me trying to give him actual factual, factual sources to have the healthiest plant-based diet he can. Trying to help this guy out. Throw this guy a bone. Nope. I can't have Moringa, dude. I'm vegan. I don't need vegan for... I'd rather just eat a healthy plant-based diet. Well, apparently you'd rather leave out the superfoods in there because you completely missed the ball on that one, my dude. Completely. So naturally, I pushed back on his comment. I stated, Vegan Foot Soldier, if you know all about the health benefits of Moringa, why haven't you done a video on it? Why would you waste your time chasing this calcium ghost? Being that Moringa is a superfood and that it is a plant, why wouldn't you spend... Why wouldn't you depend on it for nutrition? That literally makes no sense. And it goes back to what I'm saying overall. If you are truly vegan, if you are truly plant-based, I would hope that you would be looking for sources that maximize nutrition in the diet. You know, I'm not a vegan, I'm not a carnivore, but I look for food sources that maximize nutrition in my diet. And this is just based upon... It's based upon science, man. You know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I am not this carnivore that says, you know, eat only, eat only beef. You know, I am not a vegan that says only eat plants. I am an omnivore and I grow and I raise animals to the best of my ability and they are nutrient dense and I do everything in my power to provide for my family to stay away from agriculture because big corporate agriculture kills. And for anybody that wants to deny that, you can fuck off because the science and the facts are overwhelming. Nobody wants to say that. Nobody wants to come out and just say, we need to stay away from big agriculture. Hate to break it to you, this is 2020, okay? And if you can't see and you can't realize what's going on in the big agricultural settings with COVID-19, yeah, I said it because I'm not scared to be demonetized. I just want to give you guys the truth. If you guys can't see what's going on, if you can't see the writing on the wall, I'm sorry. At this point, nothing else will help you. Right now, as we speak, big plant agriculture is literally taking a bulldozer and destroying their crops in the fields. That's what they're doing right now because the distributors can't get their product out to market. So they're destroying their fields. Big animal agriculture like Tyson Smithfield, they're literally culling hundreds of thousands of animals for the same reason. Um, the distributors can't meet up market demand and they're calling the hurts. This is exactly what big agriculture does. This is capitalism. This is what you guys advocate for. This is what people like vegan foot soldier. This is what they, this is what all their activism goes towards. Eat more plants, support plant agriculture, go to the grocery store and buy more food. Never once do you, do you hear him say we should not buy food from big plant agriculture. Not once does he talk about the dangers of big agriculture. <clears throat> he doesn't. He's in bed with big agriculture and he will not come out publicly and say, you know, we shouldn't support that. He won't do it. He'll make every excuse and reason in the book why we shouldn't talk about these, these subjects. I was on his channel. I tried to talk about it. He just, he refuses to talk about it. He refuses to... Um, be honest about the situation. And in this community post, you see perfectly what he's all about. He's not about the truth. He's about a he's about a narrative. And this narrative, at this point, is just doing everything he can to disprove small bits and pieces and use facts to distort to distort the truth. He's willing to distort truth to the point where he's asking community members, he's asking his followers, please, I beg you, I have this frame of thought. This is how I feel about a certain subject. Please give me information that would lead to that direction. He's not taking the facts because the facts have already hit him in the face a thousand times. He knows there's no critical, there's, there's, there's no credible facts in, in regards to this tea that produces more calcium than milk. He knows that. But instead, he would rather reach out and try to find anything, anything that would prove what he's saying and prove his notion to be true. 
I mean, he's not, he, at this point, even the health websites he, the health websites he looks at, the health websites he supposedly believes in, he knows that they're garbage. He says it right there. He knows the health websites he looks at are garbage. But he can't take on the truth. He can't look at true health. And that's what's so disturbing about this. And here I am. I'm trying to help him out. I'm a permaculturist. I grow organic food. No pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, petrochemicals, no electricity. You name it. I do it every single day. Every single day. I'm out there producing high-quality food for my family. I try to throw him a bone. I try to explain a superfood to him, and he just throws it away. Why? Because he is so set. He is so set on disproving what can't be proven to the point to his own detriment. And quite frankly, it's disgusting. It's crazy. It's cruel. It's ridiculous. So there you have it. For those of you out there, look up Moringa. Just Google it. It's worth the Google. I encourage you guys, grow your own food. Don't depend on big agriculture. They will continue to fail you. Take food sovereignty into your own hands. Grow it yourself. And as always, guys, and as always, long live the Republic.